As of recently, you might have seen some people posting screenshots of different weapons that you might not recognize from World War II. And that's because there is a little bit of a method right now to see some secret weapons within World War II. And that's what I want to showcase a little bit of today. I want to showcase for you guys the secret or hidden heroic weapons within World War II in their entirety. But before I just jump into regular showcases of gameplay, the raw unedited stuff that you'll just be able to look at, the inspection animations, a little bit of the camos, the different makeups of each of these variants. I want to give you guys a little bit of a background information, maybe how you can do it for yourself if you're interested. And of course, is there any possibility that we could end up seeing these coming at any point in time during the future? So that said, let's just jump right into it so I can get out of this commentary a little bit and show you guys the full unedited footage for itself. Now, for those of you guys that have always wanted to see the other variants within World War II, you might notice that there are some that only have epic variants and you're wondering where that Mark II or whatever you want to call it is in the heroic weapons list. Well, this is where you can end up seeing those and more. So the method itself is rather quick, but you're going to need a buddy for this in which in my situation, in my case, I ended up getting some help from my friend Dismo and my friend Jeremy, both of whom will have their links down there in the description below. Make sure you go check out both links. Toss Jeremy a follow over on Twitter. Make sure you go sub to Dismo, all that good stuff, but you're going to need to have two players. And then in this, your friend is going to need to set up a custom game and then invite you over to that game. When you end up going and joining in, whatever weapon you want to end up seeing, that's where you want to go into your weapon selection, your create a class, and you can go in, see the weapon you want to choose, and you'll be able to come up to the variant list in which that is where you'll once again see all the weapons, but it takes a few seconds to get there because what you have to do is you have to first find out what the collection of variants is available for this. And if there is no one that has a collection available for it, that unfortunately means you can't view that one via this method. So you want to make sure that the base weapon has something available in the quartermaster collection via say operation overlord to which you can end up looking hitting triangle or y and going into that collection itself to look at what else is needed to end up unlocking that now when you're in that menu once you've hit y or triangle that's something in which when you open up that collection your friend needs to toggle the game to an esports variant mode so in my case my friend jeremy who once again you should totally go follow he ended up loading up a custom esports rule set game of a search match to which once they then toggle it you can hit circle or B to go back to the weapon variant list and that's where you should be able to see absolutely everything for that full weapon category. Now there, there should be nine weapon variants. So you have the ability to see ones that might not normally have heroic weapons and also some ones that are completely hidden and not there at all in the regular lists. And as for actually checking them out, well, you can end up going into the firing range with these. You can actually select the variant that you want on the majority of them. Some can give you some problems. You might see in the B-roll footage that I just have menu footage of say like the MG-15. That gave me some issues with that, but for the majority of them, you can end up selecting them for actual classes, going into the firing range, inspecting them, taking shots with it. And actually, if you build a class with it, apparently you can end up having one custom game available in which you can play bots to which you can get some hands-on experience with it in some actual action. But after that game, it disappears and resets everything. So it won't be there forever, but you might be able to jump on and play around with it a little bit here. Now, as for if we'll ever actually see these in a reality of World War II, well, that's something that your guess is as good as mine. I personally would love to see some of these. You'll see some like the M1 Garand, the Independent, that variant is so cool. The M1911 is pretty sick as well on some of the variants. And there's a lot within this gameplay either going on in the background already or some that you'll see here in just a few moments that are absolutely fantastic. Now, Conjury ended up responding, if I'm not mistaken, before to a tweet that asked if we would ever see the Duck Soup 2 variant, but Conjury said we'd have to take it up with Captain Butcher. So that's something that's a little weird because we don't have that as the standard majority of the time quartermaster for World War II. And it's something we've yet to see thus far because we've had Winter Siege, we've had the Resistance event, but we haven't seen these just yet. So I'm curious to see if this might be something added in the future as say another update in terms of weapon variants that comes for whatever reason, but definitely something to keep your eyes out on. But that said, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up here and let you guys see the rest of the gameplay in its raw unedited format and so you guys can check out the rest of these because there are a lot of variants and hopefully you guys do enjoy them. That said, once again, a little bit different stuff here today with this one, but I want to show it for you guys because I haven't seen too many people post videos or gameplay of this and especially of all of them. So I wanted to get your feedback, thoughts, all that good stuff on it, but also let you see it all in its entirety. Some of the stuff you might never have even known existed. And truly, I think some of the best variants are the ones that aren't even released in this game. 
and not even just for the sense that they are exclusive and nobody has them, just because some of them look so cool. But that said, that's gonna wrap it up, so let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding World War II. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys wanna follow me over on Instagram, that's something I'm trying to push on being a little bit more active on on my end, so if you guys wanna connect on that avenue, feel free to, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, Natalie, I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the showcase here, and let me know your favorite one down there in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mine is Espresso. Take care, and peace.
Old soldiers never die.